Welcome back. In the previous lecture, we learned how to measure diameter at breast height or girth at breast height. Now, uh, while taking those measurements, there are certain errors involved in assuming tree to be a circular, circular section, which actually is not the case. The area of a tree we assume to be a circle, but actually it resembles more to an ellipse. So it has uh, one, uh, you know, shorter end and it has one longer end. So we have to take both the diameters into consideration. When we take diameter at breast height, we have to take both uh, shortest distance diameter and longer distance diameter. Then there are two methods, two formula which you can use to arrive at the basal area. The first is using this formula. In this formula, what we do, we uh, get diameter 1 and we get diameter 2. Then we average both these diameters and then apply the formula pi r square to get the basal area of the tree section. Now, there is another method where we uh, have uh, diameter 1 in which uh, we, we, we use the diameter to calculate the basal area and we have diameter 2, we use that diameter as well to get the second basal area. Then we average the two basal areas using this second formula. Now, uh, you know, both of these formula uh, have, uh, you know, given us uh, results which have certain errors and you can clearly see that the least error is found by using the formula 1. So you have to average the diameters first, then estimate the basal area. And in the second case, the error involved is much more than the first formula, which is, uh, you know, 4 by 32K. And if you get your basal area, there is a third one. If you get your basal area using girth or circum circumference, then the error involved is in between the previous two methods, which is 3 upon 32. Now, how we have arrived at these figures, let's, uh, uh, you know, uh, illustrate how the errors have been calculated in using these two methods. This is the formula for estimating basal area using the first method where we average the two diameter first, diameters first, then get the, uh, you know, basal area. And the second method where we get the two basal areas using two diameters, then average the two basal areas. We are subtracting both these terms uh, by, you know, a formula which is close to the actual basal area of the tree in both cases. Now, coming towards method one, solving it, we uh, have the formula A1, uh, A plus B ka whole square. So, we expand this term which is a square plus b square plus 2ab uh, now before that we take pi by 4 common so we are left uh, with d1 d2 here now further uh, you know solving this we have uh, uh, these solving these two terms subtracting this term and this term we get d1 square plus d2 square plus 2 d1 d2 minus 4 d1 d2 upon 4 Further solving it, ultimately, we get a term pi by 16 d1 minus d2 square. Now, coming towards the method 2, we first of all, we take pi by 4 as common. Then solving uh, the two terms, we get d1 square plus d2 square minus 2 d1 d2 upon 2. Further solving this equation, we get pi by 8 d1 minus d2. Now, we have two terms. This is 1 and this is this equation is 2 we can clearly see and uh, conclude that pi by 16 d1 minus d2 is very small than pi by a d1 minus d2 means the error involved in the first method where we first average the two diameters then estimate the basal area is certainly going to, to be the best one. The error is double in case of method 2. 
there is one more error involved in the measurement of diameter with a tree caliper is the placement of caliper while you place your tree caliper uh, uh, along uh, the tree stem you have to take care that your arms arms of the tree cal these are the arms this is the fixed arm of the caliper and this is the movable arm you can see if your arm is a slightly uh, is slightly bent so this is uh, certainly uh, supposed to give you a uh, you know an error caliper must be placed at right angles to the axis because the d in that distance in that case becomes d sec theta minus d and the percentage error is 100 sec theta minus 1 and you have to remember this percentage error is independent of diameter measured and is a function of only theta it doesn't matter how long how small or big a diameter is it just depends on the angle of theta which uh, it makes with the tree uh, while the caliper arm is not placed at right angle thank you